In this demo, I'll show you how to navigate around the PDF interface and turn on some extra toolbars we'll be needing and also to take a snapshot and save it as a JPEG. First thing we need to do to turn on some toolbars is click on one of the icons up on the menu. This is a right click and select more tools. We'll open up the more tools dialog box where we'll find the page display toolbar section. We need a tick in one full page and both of the rotate toolbars and then we'll scroll down until we find the select and zoom toolbar. We need a tick in the hand tool, the marquee zoom and also the snapshot tool. Once you've done that we just click OK and that'll turn on our extra toolbars. Now we'll run through a couple of these, show you what they do. First of all, when you open up your PDF, it's always better to have the long part of the building or area running left to right as it fits on the screen a lot better. And I'll demonstrate this by using the rotate left and right. You can see just by making it that way, the image is actually bigger and it will fit better on the screen. Um, now I'll show you this uh, window zoom toolbar or marquee zoom and it's for zooming in on a particular area by simply drawing a little rectangle or square around that area and that will zoom in to that area. And uh, the hand toolbar is allow you to drag it around like a piece of paper on the desktop which sometimes comes in handy just to get it in the right position. And this icon here will fit it back to normal view which comes in very handy when you need to get it back. Um, okay, so to set, the, and this is the snapshot tool, I'll show you how to use this in a sec. Okay, to set up the PDF so we can save it a way to use in the software, we need to use the zoom window. And we're going to put a, draw a rectangle around the area we want to do the takeoff. Allowing a bit of space on the top because in the Express software, it, the menus are at the top and if you trim it too close down to the the actual area you need that will disappear under the menus. So we need to start up above a little bit higher and we draw a rectangle around the area that we need like so. And as you can see we'll be using this area here. So I've left a little so a space at the top. Now all we need to do is click the snapshot tool and once again we draw a rectangle around the area we like to keep or include in the snapshot let go of the mouse, it'll tell us that the selected area has been copied. We push OK and you'll notice that I have a dimension here which we do need in the software to set the scale. So you will always have to try and include at least one long dimension. Now what we will do is OK now we need to click on the um, desktop in a clear area away from everything and select new and then select bitmap image. That'll create a new bit bitmap image. Now we need to right click on that bitmap image and select open with and we need to find the paint. If you don't have paint there you'll need to browse to it by choosing the choose program. So we'll select paint and that'll open up the paint interface. Now it's just a matter of clicking edit and pasting our PDF snapshot into the paint program. Next all we need to do is click the file menu and save as which will open up the save as dialog box where we will browse to our work folder by opening double clicking the my documents folder scrolling until you find the work folder, double click the work folder and you'll be saving it into one of your folders in here for the Express software. I'll just save it in the Timber one for now, so I'll double click Timber. And once you're in here, it's good to create a new folder by clicking the new folder icon. Give it a name of the job, it's easy to find. Once again, there's already job one in there, so we'll rename this one to job two. So there's no conflict. We'll double click job two 
now we will give the, the file a name make it job 2 and we have to ensure that we save as type JPEG so we have to select JPEG from the drop down box and then click save and then that has been saved into that directory so when we open up the Express software we can browse to that and open it up in the Express program well, that's the end of this demo.